A U.S. President Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial in New York has hit a roadblock. With the start date pushed back due to a last minute evidence disclosure. Donald Trump's hush money criminal case in New York City has been delayed until mid-April at the earliest. The trial was scheduled to start on March 25th, but now instead the judge is going to hold a hearing after Trump's lawyers said they have been deluged with 100,000 pages of evidence that they had not previously seen. Those records come from a federal investigation into the same conduct, the same matter. Uh, that investigation led to federal charges against Michael Cohen, former President Trump's former lawyer and fixer. Cohen went to prison in 2018 uh, and then was released during the COVID-19 pandemic uh, on home confinement. He has since become a vocal critic of Trump and is a key witness in this case in Manhattan. Trump's legal team has requested a three-month delay and filed motions to have the case dismissed, arguing that it lacks legal basis. Now, the judge uh, wants to hear from both sides. He wants a timeline of why this evidence took so long to turn over. Uh, and he also wants to determine whether there should be sanctions for anybody involved in the case and if the case should go on or if the charges should be dismissed. Trump's lawyers are asking for a 90 day delay and they also have asked that the judge throw out the indictment entirely. The delay in Trump's trial adds uncertainty to his legal battles as election day looms closer raising questions about the potential impact on his political future. Trump has made a habit of trying to get his cases delayed. He is the presumptive Republican nominee for president. Uh, he wants to return to the White House, and he has argued that spending time in the courtroom instead of the campaign trail amounts to election interference. He has received a delay uh, so far in his Washington, D.C. case. His Florida case is expected to be delayed, and his Georgia case uh, has not yet been scheduled. Now, this case, which was going to be the first of the four cases to go to trial, is off at least until mid-April and possibly beyond. Agency Report, Republic TV. Meanwhile, in Russia's Caucasus region, voters gathered to vote for the presidential elections widely expected to secure Putin another term. From the mountainous village of Kunki to the ancient towns of Ladi Kafkas, citizens cast their vote amid traditional festivities. Take a look at this report. In Russia's Caucasus region, voters turned out in large number for presidential elections. In Russia's Kunki village, election officials made their way through the narrow streets to ensure everyone had the chance to vote, especially those unable to reach the polling stations. In Kobachi, women showed up in good numbers, registering and casting their votes. Adding a touch of celebration to the electoral process, in Vladikavkaz, voters enjoyed traditional dances alongside their voting. Voting in Russia began on Friday and will continue until Sunday evening. Agency Report, Republic TV. In Senegal, celebrations emerged across the country as jailed opposition leaders were released ahead of the presidential polls. On March 24, the leaders addressed the public ahead of the crucial election day as they hoped for democracy to prevail in the coup-ridden West African nation. Here is a report. Thousands took to the street in Senegal as key opposition leader Usmane Sonko was finally released from the prison ahead of the presidential elections in Senegal. Sonko is believed to be the principal challenger to the ruling party of President Macky Sall. 
In his first address after release, here is what Songko had to say. Dans cette affaire, il n'y a pas de vainqueur ou de vaincu. Nous considérons que nous avons suivi notre destin et nous allons continuer à le suivre. Il a été dit qu'on passerait par ces étapes. On n'en est pas sorti moins grandi qu'avant. Donc, ce n'est que le destin que nous suivons. The upcoming presidential elections are set to decide the fate of the Kuridan nation on whether it will rise as a democracy in West Africa. Upon being asked of his election prospects, Sonko said that the true victory will be at the end of the first term and not on the election day. Ce n'est même pas quand on va gagner le 24, Inch'Allah. C'est à la fin de notre premier mandat. Et on verra quelle appréciation les Sénégalais font de ce point. While Sonko himself is barred from the presidential race, his close ally, Basiro Faye, will contest the elections for his party. Il n'y a pas de souveraineté comme nous le voulons en réclamant ou en nous battant pour un Sénégal souverain. Juste et prospère dans une Afrique de progrès s'il n'y a pas de souveraineté monétaire. When asked about his vision for Senegal, Faye hoped for a free and just Senegal. The destiny of Senegal and the results of the presidential elections will be revealed on the election day on March 24th. Agency Report, Republic TV. U.S. judge delays Trump hush money trial by 30 days, says new evidence has turned over which needs time for examination. The U.S. and G7 allies have issued a strong warning to Iran over its plans to move forward with providing ballistic missiles to Russia in the ongoing Ukraine war. U.S. says will pile new sanctions. The United Nations Security Council has extended the mandate of the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan ahead of the mandate's conclusion on March 17. A resolution was passed unanimously to extend the mission. Croatian president announces surprise bid to run for prime minister. The announcement comes hours after parliamentary elections were announced in Croatia to be held next month. As the deadline to register for the Venezuelan presidential elections near, leading opposition candidate Maria Machado faces pressure to withdraw from the race. This comes as the opposition looks for a better substitute to fight the incumbent president. Senegal's top opposition leader was released from jail ahead of the country's presidential election scheduled for March 24. Celebrations erupted across the country as supporters of the jailed leader rejoiced over his release. A day after the US and South Korea conclude military drills, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un uh, watched the Military exercises conducted by paratroopers, Kim's daughter was also seen alongside him. Pope Francis met with Seychelles president during a private audience in the Vatican. During the meeting, the pair held talks on the international situation and the socio-political situation in Seychelles. Three people died after a tornado hit a town in Ohio. This comes after weather situation was severely affected in central U.S. Sheriff Department says that it was surprised that more people weren't killed. A trail of destruction followed central U.S. after the tornado. The severe weather affected people in parts of Ohio, Kentucky and Indiana.
Moving on, Belgorod has come under fire yet again. Amid the increasingly volatile situation in Russia, Belgorod governor on Saturday announced that the closure of shopping malls and the suspension of schools at the beginning of next week. Belgorod governor Vyacheslav Gladkov on Saturday announced the closure of shopping malls and the suspension of schools at the beginning of the next week. This comes amid the escalating tension in the region. Вижу большое количество обращений, исходя из текущей обстановки, принимаем решение, что торговые центры Белгород, городский район в воскресенье и понедельник работать не будут. По работе школ понедельник, вторник, выходной. Мы сейчас посмотрим с точки зрения законодательства, каким образом точную формулировку. Но это, я думаю, что это наша история. Просто самое главное, что понедельник, во вторник занятий в школах не будет. Gladkov, in a video statement, reiterated the priority for security. It's a very difficult situation in the Belgorod region. Of course, the question of security is the main concern for us for all of us. Today, I will try to give you the results of the day, and the situation of the day, to give the operative information. In the morning, I will write the information. Враг опять нанес по нам удар, выехал на место. Прошу прощения, сегодня выходил уже без утреннего видео. Всем доброго дня, здоровья и добра. Берегите. Earlier in the day, Ukrainian shelling of Belgorod killed two people, officials said, while Russia claimed to have thwarted a new attempt by saboteurs to cross the border. Agency report, Republic TV. Slipping into a quick break after that, during a campaign for Senate candidate in Ohio, Donald Trump warned of a bloodbath if he loses the 2024 elections. Israeli police used water cannon against protesters demanding the government's resignation in Tel Aviv. उनको चिन्हित करके थ्रेट दिया जा रहा है कि कल जब मीडिया बंधु नहीं रहेंगे और शेख साजन जब वापस आ जाएगा तब आप लोगों का क्या होगा मेरा नाम डॉक्टर पार्था विश्वास है सेंटर फॉर एस सी सपोर्ट एंड रिसर्च का मैं डायरेक्टर हूं और संदेशकाली का जो विषय है उस विषय को लेके जो विक्टिम्स है वो हमारे साथ राष्ट्रपति महोदय के पास हम लोग ज्ञापन दिया है उन्होंने सारे विषय सुना है और उन्होंने सहमत प्रकाश किया और बड़े संवेदना के साथ आंतरिकता साथ उन्होंने सुना है और उन्होंने बड़ी दुखित हुआ इस घटना से
Well, the Israel-Hamas battle shows no signs of abating as the war rages on. Palestinians displaced by the Israeli offensive living in tents along Gaza's Mediterranean coast say they are desperate for food despite some aid arriving in the embattled enclave. Death, destruction, desolation. Even as the Israel-Hamas war continues to obliterate vast swathes of land, it is the displaced Palestinians bearing the brunt of the relentless bombardment. نحن شايفين اكل ولا شايفين شروب يعني المساعدات شاحه بالمره بيقولوا لنا في مساعدات في الجنوب المساعدات شاحه The United States has joined other countries in air dropping supplies into Gaza and has announced separate plans to construct a pier to get aid in بدنا نضلنا نستنى ننتظر مساعدات هذه مش حل باخره تيجي طياره تيجي يعني شفنا طيارات اجت ونزلت دبحوا بعضهم مافيات ينزل اولاد صغار غرقوا في بحر ماتوا عشان مساعدات Israel has been under increasing pressure to allow more aid into Gaza especially in the Palestinians isolated north where hunger is at its worst Some 80% of Gaza's 2.3 million people have been displaced in the war more than half of them cramped into the far south around the town of Rafah with only a trickle of supplies entering the territory hunger is rampant agency report republic tv More humanitarian aid was airdropped from Gaza as the international community rallies together to push for more aid for displaced Palestinians. This comes as difficulty in delivering aid by land continues to remain due to Israel's intensified offensive in Gaza. Twenty people were reported dead after an Israeli strike hit a house in the Nusayrat refugee camp in central Gaza. More than two thirds of the casualties were women and children. After the aid sent by the World Central Kitchen reached the shores of Gaza from Cyprus. More than 200 tons of rice and flour were offloaded in Gaza as another batch of aid prepares to set sail. The Russian military released footage of repelling an attempted attack by Ukrainian forces in the Belgorod region. The visuals show aerial strikes on soldiers and tanks trying to enter the region. Ukraine continues heavy bombardment on the Russian city of Belgorod. Russian authorities report at least two dead after the recent round of shelling. Amid the increasingly volatile situation along the Russian-Ukraine border following heavy shelling from the Ukrainian side, Belgorod governor announces shutdown till the next a week to prevent civilian casualties It is for the first time that the residents of eastern Ukraine have voted in a Russian presidential election after Moscow orchestrated referendums in four frontline Ukrainian regions in 2022 Russian uh, residents uh, Uh, the Russian election president uh, are underway and the residents in the region cast their vote. Voting for the Russian election also held in Kherson province Ukraine gives a strong condemnation for holding polls in occupied territories.
Members of the UN Security Council condemned Russian elections taking place in the Ukraine regions. UN Special Envoy says elections conducted in a coercive environment. In the aftermath of the deadly strike in Odessa's, uh, in Ukraine's Odessa, Ukrainian President Zelensky said that the country will ramp up production and deployment of military drone against Russian forces. The deadly strike has killed at least 16 people. Well, amid the ongoing presidential elections in Russia that is expected to hand another six years to Putin, Ukraine has attacked the Russian city of Belgorod. The missile strike killed two and wounded three people. Putin accused Ukraine of trying to sabotage the polls. Here is a detailed report. Two people were killed and three wounded in a Ukrainian missile strike on Russia. Local residents shared their horror. Рядом услышал взрыв, выбежал, смотрю, что-то горит. Ну, прибежал, соседи горят. Лена сработала. Мы с младшим сразу в коридор, буквально там в первые секунды. Начались взрывы, ракета пролетела, шум и яркая вспышка, не сильно громко. Все очень быстро произошло. Двери открылись. The attack comes a day after a Russian assault on the Ukrainian port city of Odessa that killed at least 21 people. The ballistic missile attack blasted homes and was followed by a second missile that targeted first responders who arrived at the scene. According to authorities, more than 50 people are still in the hospital. Ukrainian president had promised an appropriate response to the attack. Saturday's attacks occurred as Russians entered the second day of voting in the presidential election. President Vladimir Putin has accused Ukraine of trying to sabotage the presidential poll. That is set to extend his rule by another six years. Agency report, Republic TV. Celebrations emerged across Senegal as jailed opposition leaders were released ahead of the presidential elections on March 24. The leaders addressed the people ahead of the crucial election day as they hope for democracy to prevail in the coup-ridden West African nation. Here is a detailed report. Thousands took to the street in Senegal as key opposition leader Usmane Sonko was finally released from the prison ahead of the presidential elections in Senegal. Sonko is believed to be the principal challenger to the ruling party of President Macky Sall. In his first address after release, here is what Sonko had to say. In this affair, there is no vainqueur or vaincu. We consider that we have followed our destiny and we will continue to follow it. Il a été dit qu'on passerait par ces étapes. On n'en est pas sorti moins grandi qu'avant. Donc, ce n'est que le destin que nous suivons. The upcoming presidential elections are set to decide the fate of the Kuridan nation on whether it will rise as a democracy in West Africa. Upon being asked of his election prospects, Sanko said, that the true victory will be at the end of the first term and not on the election day. It will be done, it will be done. So, it's to say that we don't consider the things. The only victory is not even when we will win the 24th, Inshallah. It's at the end of our first mandate. And we'll see what appreciation the Senegalese font of this point. While Sonko himself is barred from the presidential race, his close ally, Basir Ophai, will contest the elections for his party. Il n'y a pas de souveraineté comme nous le voulons en réclamant 
ou en nous battant pour un Sénégal souverain, juste et prospère dans une Afrique de progrès s'il n'y a pas de souveraineté monétaire. When asked about his vision for Senegal, Faye hoped for a free and just Senegal. The destiny of Senegal and the results of the presidential elections will be revealed on the election day on March 24th. Agency Report, Republic TV. Well, that's it for this bulletin on international news. But coming up next, Prime Minister Modi to visit Andhra Pradesh today and take part in an NDA election meet where Chandra Babu Naidu and Pawan Kalyan will also join. Mafia Don Sheikh Shah Jahan's brother also arrested by the CBI over the attack on ED officials in early January. In the Global Employability Rankings by Times Higher Education UK, only the following six institutions from India are ranked amongst the top 230 in the world for having the most employable graduates. IIT Delhi, IISC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIM Ahmedabad, IIT Kharagpur and Amity University. To extrapolate into the future, Formula E or electric racing will be the norm. So the question is how Formula E reinvents itself to become the leading racing series in the world in a, in a situation in which Formula One might need to go electric too. And that's the big question mark. And I believe there is space for both, but there is always the strategy, the management, and how to execute all of the priorities of the company will make a difference if Formula E succeed or not. Formula E is in a unique position. Formula E can become the main racing series of the world if done correctly. Well, yeah, I mean, first of all, he's had a great start, which, is, which has been great for, uh, for him and the teams that we've had our best start as a team since we joined the championship. Uh, I hope to obviously catch up a bit, to be honest. Um, I've had a, an okay start, we've got some good points, but we missed out a few opportunities. Um, but, but Nick, yeah, I mean, it's been great working with him. I've known him since, since I was six, so the relationship's been strong for many, many years. I mean, he loves, well, he, he's always loved granola and yogurt. Um, what else? He, he loves drinking my coffee. And he loves coming up to my place in, in Monaco because I always, uh, I've got a coffee machine and make You're watching Morning Express on Republic TV. I'm Kriti Mehta and let's start the bulletin with the top headlines. Prime Minister Modi to visit Andhra Pradesh today and take part in an NDA election meet. Chandra Babu Naidu and Pawan Kalyan to also attend. Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi extends BRS leader K. Kavita's custody till March 23 in the Delhi Excise Policy case. Vice President Dhankar, Defence Citizenship Amendment Act implementation says the act aims to give relief to persecuted minorities without infringing on the rights of the citizens. Mafia Don Sheikh Shah Jahan's brother arrested by the CBI over the attack on ED officials in early January. Mm -hmm. 
NIA charge sheets two individuals in the 2023 Kokarnag encounter in which three security personnel were martyred and an Lashkarit Taiba TRF terrorist was killed. Marine commandos of the Navy rescued 17 sailors from MV Royben and coerced 35 pirates to surrender in an intense 40-hour action on the high seas. Thank you for staying with Republic TV viewers. Uh, we are looking at the election poll announcement of the dates and we are already looking at the poll bugle being sounded by both the sides, that is the NDA and the India Alliance as well. We are looking at the NDA's uh, ca major campaigning that has also been sounded and the India Alliance still trying to catch up to the campaigning of the NDA. Let's take a look at this report to understand what's expected in the Lok Sabha elections. The date sheet for the big elections finale has been announced and the nation has gone into an election frenzy. With the elections around the corner, the BJP is confident of a win, a big win. In 2019, Prime Minister made a promise. And delivered only to now up the bar for his party. A thought echoed by many other in the party. The NDA standing at a majestic 341 is much closer to its tally with 38.5% vote share. Indy, now seemingly in disarray, is far from the magic number at 119 seats, much below the 272 seat mark. The Congress, the principal party in the Lok Sabha, does not have the 50 seats in Lok Sabha, while the BJP sits at a handsome 303. With the poll dates announced, it appears that the BJP's election machinery is set for the kill and the opposition still undecided on many key issues. It is not difficult to see where the elections are headed. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Now, viewers, the stage is set for the two sides of the NDA alliance, in fact, claiming that they are fighting for the development of the country and the entire campaign strategy being that of a new Vikasit Bharat. And on the other side, we have the India alliance and their idea of India as well. We're looking at the major campaigning as well that is being lined up. Let's take a look at this report to understand what's to be expected in the run up to the Lok Sabha elections. The stage is set for the 2024 Lok Sabha polls. It's a grand battle between the NDA and India alliances. As Bharat prepares to vote, certain issues have created the biggest political firestorms over the last five years. The Citizenship Amendment Act notified on the 11th of March 
has stirred a mega debate on religious politics. मैंने कहा 41 टाइम 41 बार अलग अलग मंचों से इसके बारे में मैंने डिटेल बात करी है कि इस देश के अल्पसंख्यक माइनॉरिटीज या तो किसी और व्यक्ति को डरने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि सी में किसी की नागरिकता लेने का प्रावधान ही नहीं है सी सिर्फ और सिर्फ तीन देश अफगानिस्तान पाकिस्तान, पाकिस्तान और बांग्लादेश से हिंदू सिख बौद्ध क्रिश्चियन और पारसी जो जैन और पारसी शरणार्थी आए हैं इनको उनका अधिकार देने का कानून है नागरिकता देने का कानून है जिससे इनके जीवन की वेदनाओं को हम कम कर पाए वाइल द बीजेपी हैज बस्टेड मिथ सराउंडिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सी ए ए इंडिया लाइज वरी अबाउट इट्स कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस फॉर डेमोक्रेटिक इंडिया Even the service holders also, they get the green card. Even there are so many countries they give the citizenship card also. Earlier there is a situation in in all over the country also, our country also. Whoever stayed, DM should have issued the citizenship certificate. But now what is happening? This bill was passed in the year 2020. After that, four years passed. तो आप मजहब के नाम पे कोई कानून नहीं बना सकते और सी ए बिल्कुल मुस्लिम को टारगेट करने वाला कानून है तो मेरी मोतबाना गुजारिश है तमाम लोगों से खासकर मुसलमानों से खुदा के लिए इनके जाल में मत फंसी अपने वोट का सही इस्तेमाल कर लीजिए और उसके बाद कानूनी तरीके से इस लड़ाई को लड़ने की जरूरत है सी ए का कानून पास किया था कल मैंने एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके ये समझाया कि सी कैसे देश के लिए बेहद खतरनाक कानून है और इसे वापस लिया जाना चाहिए फर्दर टेकिंग अ स्टेप क्लोजर टू मेकिंग इट अ रियलिटी द वन नेशन वन पोल इंडिया बिगेस्ट इलेक्टोरल रिफॉर्म इज नाउ मोर देन अ डिबेट द बीजेपी हैज वेलकम्ड द लॉन्ग पेंडिंग मूव former president ramnath kovind ji has submitted that report on one nation one poll that should be welcomed after all in this country in india we have had elections from 1951 till 67 simultaneously our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji has repeatedly spoken about the benefits of it and there are several benefits of one nation one poll the law commission has considered it also essentially the administration the political machinery gets involved in electioneering from time or to time when it is not simultaneously held now when it's held simultaneously you have an administrative and political machinery capable of working 5 years at a stretch whereas the opposition considers it anti constitutional mr kovin not kovin is a blot on community and uh, mr kovin is indebted and should be indebted to dr uh, ambedkar uh, who had given us a dignified life who ga- who liberated us now he recommendations are against his spirit against his constitution Another consistent issue of conflict between the two alliances has been inflation and unemployment. While Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has asserted time and again of India's confident fight against maintaining inflation at a moderate rate. Inflation in the last year of Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji's government India government was below 4%. Was below 4%. I'm not very good in Hindi, but I'm tempted to use one saying: "Good ko gober karna." Am I right? "Good ko gober karna" in ke mastery hai, sir. Indi parties have used the issue to run political campaigns. Aaj baashan me do baate batana chahta hu. नफरत का कारण बेरोजगारी और महंगाई है बीजेपी
बीजेपी का सिस्टम आपका ध्यान बेरोजगारी और महंगाई से हटाने के लिए नफरत पे ले जाता है फाइनली The latest controversy that has evoked a tussle between the two sides of the political spectrum is electoral bonds. Leaders of the opposition have hit out at the BJP alleging quid pro quo arrangements in exchange for bonds. Bharatiya Janata Party khud kyu nahi declare kar rahi ki unko kis company ne kitne paise ke electoral bond diye? Kendra Sarkar bhag kyu rahi hai? Kyu Supreme Court ko दबाव देके चाहे वो स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हो या इलेक्शन कमीशन हो या केंद्र सरकार हो इनसे ये जानकारी उगलवानी पड़ रही है इसका मतलब भारतीय जनता पार्टी बातों को छुपा रही है और जो आंकड़े मैंने दिए कि एक कंपनी के ऊपर छापा पड़ता है ईडी का चार दिन बाद वो इलेक्ट्रोरल बॉन्ड बनाते या ना तो सी इन्वेस्टिगेट करेगी ना ईडी इन्वेस्टिगेट करेगी तो अब जिम्मेदारी कोर्ट पे है कोर्ट क्या करती है कोर्ट को एक जैसे 2G में एक एस बनानी चाहिए और खुद नियुक्ति करनी चाहिए लोगों की उस एस में टुडे इट हैज बीन एक्सपोज्ड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट हाउ द बीजेपी हैज मेड मनी आउट ऑफ दिस election bonds yespi data shows donation is 50% bjp got congress got only 11% As the nation eagerly waits for India's biggest news point, the politics, the debates, the conflict, and the war of words is only set to gain momentum. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Now, viewers, we had been seeing since the past several months uh, how the political war of words had broken out already between the NDA and the India Alliance. But now we have just a few hours ago when the EC has also announced the poll schedule that will go on for the Lok Sabha elections. On one side we have the NDA, and on the other side we have the India Alliance as well. In fact, several issues that have also been addressed by both the sides. Uh, and on the side of it, we also see that uh, there will be by-elections and also state elections as well. Here's a detail. Detailed report to understand what's to expect. The poll bugle has been sounded. The Election Commission, in its much-anticipated briefing, announced the dates for the 2024 elections today. The Lok Sabha polls will be held in seven phases from April 19th to June 1st. The counting will be held on June 4th. Schedule of the Lok Sabha poll, phase one. we'll do it in seven phases as was done last time seven phases phase 1 will start from 20th march notification 5 days from now and last date of withdrawal would be 30th march and date of poll would be 19th of april the first phase will be held on april 19 when arunachal pradesh assam bihar chatisgarh मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र मणिपुर मेघालय मिजोरम नागालैंड राजस्थान सिक्किम तमिलनाडु त्रिपुरा उत्तर प्रदेश उत्तराखंड वेस्ट बंगाल अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लक्षद्वीप एंड पुडुचेरी विल गो टू पोल्स द सेकंड फेज विल बी हेल्ड ऑन अप्रैल 26 व्हेन असम बिहार छत्तीसगढ़ कर्नाटक केरला मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र मणिपुर राजस्थान त्रिपुरा उत्तर प्रदेश वेस्ट बंगाल एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर विल गो टू पोल्स असम बिहार छत्तीसगढ़ गोवा गुजरात कर्नाटक मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र उत्तर प्रदेश 
West Bengal, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, and Daman and Diu and Jammu and Kashmir will go to polls in the third phase on May 7th. Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir will go to polls in Phase 4 on May 13. Phase 5 will be held on May 20th. Polling will be held in Bihar, Jharkhand, Maharashtra, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. In Phase 6, on May 25th, Bihar, Haryana, Jharkhand, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Delhi will vote. And the polls will be concluded on June 1st, which will be the last phase or phase 7, when voting will be held in Bihar, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Odisha, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Chandigarh. Meanwhile, assembly elections will also be held in Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Odisha and Sikkim. Soon after the announcement, Prime Minister Modi and other BJP leaders exuded confidence. पूरा राष्ट्र तैयार है के विकास के नए शिखर को छूने के लिए पुनः नरेंद्र मोदी के नेतृत्व में सरकार भारतीय जनता पार्टी का गठबंधन बनाएगा अब की बार 400 पार इस संकल्प को सिद्धि तक ले जाने में हमारा योगदान करें भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने बूथ स्तर पर मजबूत तैयारी की है हमारा संगठनात्मक तंत्र है हमारी सरकार की उपलब्धियां हैं इसलिए अब की बार 400 पार फिर एक बार प्रचंड बहुमत की मोदी सरकार विनाशकारी विपरीत बुद्धि कांग्रेस अब तक के इतिहास की सबसे कम सीटें प्राप्त करेगी और आज तो यही तय नहीं कौन सी प्राप्त करेगी मीनवाइल सम इन द ओपोजिशन कास्ट एस्पिरेशंस ऑल डेवलपमेंट वर्क विल बी टफ अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इट्स नॉट गुड ही कुड हैव कंप्लीटेड विद इन 3 या 4 बिना छेड़छाड़ ईवीएम बिना चुनाव कैसे कह देते हैं ये कि इसके पास का तिलस्मी है ये का जादूगर है क्या है to the chief election commissioner, I'll say, you have denied us the right of being part of this nation. We have every right as Indians to have our own government. ये जो मौजूदा भाजपा है ना, ये अपने राजनीतिक हित को साधने के लिए किसी भी एक्सटेंड तक जा सकती है अभी देखते रहिए. All political parties will be putting their best foot forward as the biggest festival of democracy is about to begin. Will PM Modi take a leap forward to his third consecutive term? Or will India Alliance be able to mark a significant dent in NDA's Charsopar target? Moving into a short break on the Morning Express, on the other side we bring you details of the Mafia Don Sheikh Shah Jahan's brother arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation over the attack on the ED officials in early January. And the NIA charge sheets two individuals in the 2023 Kokir Nag encounter in which three security personnel were martyred and an LAT TRF terrorist was killed. Started by the refugees living in various settlements across the national capital, went on for over an hour where Delhi police tried to pacify the protesters who were all up in arms against the anti CSA sentiments that has been echoed by the Congress and the India Alliance partner. Joining me right now are some of the protesters who are now leaving the protest site. 
जो आप लोगों ने अपना प्रोटेस्ट किया है ये पहले तो मुझे ये बताइए कि ये किस आक्रोश में हुआ है और कितने और लोग आपके साथ हमारे साथ हम पाकिस्तान से आए कम से कम तीन तो चार सौ बंदे हैं पाकिस्तान से आए मगर दस ग्यारह साल हो गए यहाँ रहते हुए तो अभी सी ए लागू हुआ था तो केजरीवाल ने हमारे को कुछ गलत शब्द भी बोले थे तो बोले थे कि इन्हों को नागरी जानी जाए घुटबे सी है ये दंगा पाशाद करें ये बेटियों को उठा ले जाए हम हमारी इज्जत बचा के हम अपना धर्म बचा के हम यहाँ आए हम कमा के खा रहे हम किसी का क्या बगाड़ेंगे हम क्या हम हमारी औकात क्या है हम वहाँ से पीड़ित तो होकर आए थे हम यहाँ के क्या करें नहीं तो कोई हमारा प्रूफ ठाया बनाए नहीं कोई हमारा आधार कार्ड बनाए नहीं कुछ नहीं हम बच्चे स्कूल में भेज सकते हैं यही हमारी मांग थी कि हम कोई ऐसे गलत शब्द नहीं निकाले जाए क्योंकि हम हमारे को मोदी जी ने नागरिकता दे रहा है तो हमारा विरोध क्यों कर रहे हैं आप किस कैंप से आए हैं और क्या आपको और लोग हम आदेश नगर मजलिस पार्क राणा प्रताप बस्ती से आए हैं जी हाँ ऐसे जो बयान दिए जा रहे हैं अगर ये और बोले जाते तो अगली प्रक्रिया क्या रहेगी आप भी बताइए अगली प्रक्रिया में क्या रहेगा प्रक्रिया। अगली प्रक्रिया ये है कि जब तक ये माफी नहीं मांगेंगे सोनिया गांधी राहुल गांधी और केजरीवाल हम जहाँ जहाँ जिस गांव में रहते हैं वहाँ पे इनके पुतले फूकेंगे वहाँ पर इनका विरोध करते रहेंगे वहाँ पर इनको अगर ये केजरीवाल पाकिस्तान में पैदा हुआ होता वहाँ उसकी बहन बेटियाँ वहाँ पर पैदा हुई होती इसको उसका उस क्षण का जैसे हमारी बहन बेटियों का अपहरण कर लिया जाता था उनके साथ बलात्कार होता है जबरन अब इस्लाम तब उनको एहसास होता है यहाँ बैठे हुए राजनीति करते हैं रोहिंग्या मुसलमान दस रोहिंग्या और बांग्लादेशी दस करोड़ से ज्यादा लोग रहते हैं डेढ़ करोड़ हिंदू आ जाएंगे तो उनके ऊपर बहुत लोगों का ये भी कहना है की केजरीवाल और जितने भी कांग्रेस के लीडर्स है जिन्होंने स्टेटमेंट दी है वो ये मुस्लिमों के साथ एक तरीके से जाती हो रही है इस वजह से ये कहा गया मैं आपसे पूछना चाहता हूँ मुस्लिमों की चौवन कंट्री है वो किसी भी देश में जा सकते हैं अगर कोई मुसलमान मुसलम मान के देश में प्रताड़ित हो तो देश भी तो मुसलमानों का है ना किसी हिंदू ने तो प्रताड़ित नहीं किया मैं आपसे ये पूछना चाहता हूँ उन्नीस के बाद एक आदमी हिंदुस्तान में बताइए जिसको प्रताड़ित किया गया हो जिसने कहा कि मैं पाकिस्तान में जाना चाहता हूँ मक्का मदीना में जाना चाहता हूँ सऊदी अरब में जाना चाहता हूँ हम वहाँ प्रताड़ित हो रहे हम हिंदुस्तान में नहीं आएंगे तो कहाँ जाएंगे वहाँ पर आप लोगों ने अपना ज्ञापन दिया हमने अपना ज्ञापन दिया हम अभी जहाँ जहाँ हिंदू दिल्ली के अंदर जहाँ जहाँ लोग रहते थे ये शॉर्ट नोटिस में अभी इतने लोग इकट्ठे हुए अगर इन्होंने माफी नहीं मांगी तो हमसे हम दिल्ली में हमारे हिंदू शरणार्थी जो अगर एक महीने का भी बच्चा जो कल पैदा हुआ होगा उसको भी लेकर इस रोड पे बैठेंगे इनको मजबूर कर देंगे Welcome back viewers uh, we have been keeping you ahead on all that is going on with the Delhi excise policy scam and the kind of investigation that has been going on over it and we have seen that at least eight summons that had been skipped by Arvind Kejriwal the Delhi chief minister had to finally uh, appear before the Rao Avenue court and we had now also seen that him getting bail but the BJP still carrying out that political attack against the Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal over the entire scam Let's take a look at this report to understand what's happening with the excise policy investigation. After skipping eight summons of the Enforcement Directorate, Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal had to present himself in the Rao Avenue court in the Delhi liquor scam. This comes after the court refused to provide any relief to Kejriwal for failing to act on the two summons issued by the magistrate. आपके प्रश्नों के सारे जवाब देने को मिल तैयार हैं क्योंकि मैं हमने कोई गलत काम किया नहीं कुछ छुपा नहीं रहे तो आप मेरे से प्रश्न पूछ लो वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के जरिए पूछ लो. But the law finally caught up with the Aam Aadmi Supremo, who was then released by court on bail. आज क्योंकि मैटर लगा हुआ था तो और डायरेक्शन थी केजरीवाल जी को अपीयर होने के लिए हालांकि सेशन जज ने कहा था कि अगर आप चाहो तो एग्जामेशन एप्लीकेशन मूव कर सकते हो अपीयरेंस के लिए आज मिस्टर केजरीवाल अपीयर हुए हैं पंद्रह क्योंकि बेलेबल अफेंस है तो पंद्रह पंद्रह हजार के दो अलग अलग केसों में बॉन्ड और शोर्टी बॉन्ड दिए जो एक्सेप्ट कर लिए हैं हमने एक एप्लीकेशन में रिप्लाई और बहस के लिए एक अप्रैल की डेट जज साहब ने दिए सवा दस बजे The legal team of Kejriwal remains confident that Kejriwal is in the right, despite not being able to secure bails for his jailed colleagues Manish Sisodia and Sanjay Singh.
अवेलेबल ऑफेंस है और दूसरी बात केजरीवाल जी ये समझते हैं हम ये समझते हैं कि ये गैर वाजिब केस था इसलिए यहाँ हम भी लड़ाई लड़ रहे हैं और अब हमारी आर्गूमेंट एक तारीख को होगी एक अप्रैल को आज जमान एक्सेप्ट कर लिया The BJP continued their attack on the Delhi CM charging at him to abide by the law like a common man. Ye Arvind Kejriwal ji ko jaldi se jaldi kanun ka palan karna chahiye aur yahi samvidhan ki sapath liye hue vyakti ke liye uchit bhi hai. Jab jab mananiya mukhyamantri Kejriwal ji samarn के का निरादर करते हैं तो वो कानून का उल्लंघन करते हैं लेकिन आज ये तय हो गया कि उनकी उद्दंडता देश की कचहरी को भी मान्य नहीं है However, the आम आदमी पार्टी रिमेन डिफाइंड एंड कॉल्ड द केस अ पोलिटिकल एजेंडा ये बिल्कुल पोलिटिकल वेंडेटा है बेबुनियाद केस है दो साल से हजारों जगह रेड पड़ रही है हजारों लोगों की पूछताछ हुई है लेकिन एक भी नए पैसे का कुछ नहीं मिला कुछ भी सबूत नहीं मिला कोई भी एविडेंस नहीं मिली विद बी आर एस एम एल सी के कविता इन ई डी कस्टडी आप लीडर मनीष सिसोडिया एंड संजय लिंक लैंग विशिंग इन जेल इट्स टाइम रनिंग आउट फॉर सी एम केजरीवाल ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी नाउ On this mean while in fact we also see that uh, the BRS leader K Kavita and the trouble that is mounting for K Kavita after she had been arrested and then produced before the Rose Avenue court and uh, we are looking at the investigation and the involvement of K Kavita also being determined by the investigating agencies let's take a look at this report to understand what really is the role that K Kavita also played in the excise policy scam after a dramatic showdown and our long raids at K Kavita's premises in Hyderabad the BRS MLC was arrested in a money laundering case linked to the now scrapped Delhi excise policy K Kavita who was presented at the Rao's Avenue court in the national capital has called the arrest illegal and has vowed to fight it Ma'am would you like to say something It's a illegal arrest. We're going to bite it out. Ma'am, would you like to say something? It's a illegal arrest. We're going to bite it out. Senior advocate Vikram Chaudhary lashed out at the ED's move and termed the arrest a blatant use of power. The Delhi court has remanded BRS leader K Kavita to ED custody till March 23. Meanwhile, BRS leaders staged a massive protest at Siddhi Peet against the arrest. The politics around the arrest is boiling, with the opposition launching a two-pronged attack on BJP and BRS. हम लोग हमेशा ये की बात बोलते हैं आपको क्या चाहिए आईएस और नाइस आईएस का मतलब इनकम टैक्स सीबीआई ईडी नाइस का मतलब नारकोटिक्स इनकम टैक्स सीबीआई ईडी तो मोदी जी का फ्रंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चाहिए ये फ्रंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को जब जब चुनाव आएंगे तब तब वो फ्रंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को इस्तेमाल करने के लिए कोशिश कर रहे जो हमारे इंस्टीट्यूशन हुआ करते थे वो आज इंस्टीट्यूशन हिंदुस्तान के नहीं है चाहे वो इलेक्शन कमीशन हो चाहे वो सी हो ईडी हो ये सब हो ये अब बीजेपी और आरएसएस के हथियार हैं ये हिंदुस्तान के इंस्टीट्यूशंस नहीं रहे इसीलिए ये जो हो रहा है ये हो पा रहा है देखिए जहां भी भ्रष्टाचार एक ऐसा विषय है जिस पर नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने दो टूक कहा है कि हम न किसी को छोड़ेंगे और न किसी को फंसाएंगे तो स्पष्ट रूप से है कि भ्रष्टाचार में कोई भी अगर संलिप्त होगा या जिस भी प्रकार के कोई मामले आएंगे तो कार्रवाई तो होगी एज वी आर अवेयर that from past 10 years when you know the kcr was in power in uh, telangana the kcr's family has been involved in huge scams and one of them is delhi liquor scam so this case has been uh, you know just it just happened in delhi where many people many people were been involved after thorough investigations kavita has been found uh, you know they had the substantial evidence so she has been booked with aap leader manish sisodia and sanjay singh languishing behind bars the big question is 
What exactly is the ED going to uncover after getting seven-day custody of K. Kavita? Bureau Report, Republic TV. This is Republic Diva Bupa Studios, your one-stop destination for all the breaking news updates. And I am Shivangi Shukla. It's half past eight viewers and here are the headlines. During a campaign for Senate candidate in Ohio, Donald Trump warned of a bloodbath if he loses the 2024 elections. Venezuelan president became his party's official nominee for this year's highly anticipated presidential elections, allowing him to stroll into a third consecutive term. Israeli police used water cannon against protesters demanding the government's resignation in Tel Aviv. Singapore's foreign minister met his Jordanian counterpart and discussed developments in the situation in Gaza. Volcano in southwest Iceland has erupted for the fourth time in less than 100 days, creating a vast lava flow outside the town of Grindavik. Now, viewers, uh, we are also tracking uh, the trial for Donald Trump, uh, the former U.S. president, uh, about the hush money. In fact, the investigation that was being carried out in the same and the hearing that was all set to take place, which has now been postponed. Uh, and uh, we are picking up several details on that. Let's take a look at this report to understand what's happening with the U.S. presidential polls. Former U.S. President Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial in New York has hit a roadblock. With the start date pushed back due to a last-minute evidence disclosure. Donald Trump's hush money criminal case in New York City has been delayed until mid-April at the earliest. The trial was scheduled to start on March 25th, but now instead the judge is going to hold a hearing after Trump's lawyers said they have been deluged with 100,000 pages of evidence that they had not previously seen. Those records come from a federal investigation into the same conduct, the same matter. Uh, that investigation led to federal charges against Michael Cohen, former President Trump's former lawyer and fixer. Cohen went to prison in 2018 uh, and then was released during the COVID-19 pandemic uh, on home confinement. He has since become a vocal critic of Trump and is a key witness in this case in Manhattan. Trump's legal team has requested a three-month delay and filed motions to have the case dismissed, arguing that it lacks legal basis. Now, the judge uh, wants to hear from both sides. He wants a timeline of why this evidence took so long to turn over. Uh, and he also wants to determine whether there should be sanctions for anybody involved in the case and if the case should go on or if the charges should be dismissed. Trump's lawyers are asking for a 90 day delay, and they also have asked that the judge throw out the indictment entirely. The delay in Trump's trial adds uncertainty to his legal battles as Election Day looms closer raising questions about the potential impact on his political future. Trump has made a habit of trying to get his cases delayed. He is the presumptive Republican nominee for president. Uh, he wants to return to the White House, and he has argued that spending time in the courtroom instead of the campaign trail amounts to election interference. He has received a delay uh, so far in his Washington, D.C. case. His Florida case is expected to be delayed, and his Georgia case uh, has not yet been scheduled. Now, this case, which was going to be the first of the four cases to go to trial, is off at least until mid-April and possibly beyond. 
एजेंसी रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी Now viewers uh, shifting our focus to Russia where in the Caucasus uh, region of Russia there were several voters who came out in large numbers uh, to vote in the presidential elections and hoping to secure Vladimir Putin another term and uh, we are looking at several regions across Russia where people came out to vote in heavy numbers here's more as to what's happening in Russia In Russia's Caucasus region voters turned out in large number for presidential elections In Russia's Kunki village, election officials made their way through the narrow streets to ensure everyone had the chance to vote, especially those unable to reach the polling stations. In Kobachi, women showed up in good numbers, registering and casting their votes. Adding a touch of celebration to the electoral process. In Vladikavkaz, voters enjoyed traditional dances alongside their voting. Is birat helam shto ve ani kara sawali ani tuda prayti ni mogut prayti ni mogut. Ye ni ajedali takoy takoy globalne yavki. Možno skat na dane moment bolje tridesi procentov zajavljenih izbiratelji. Voting in Russia began on Friday and will continue until Sunday. Agency report for Public TV. Now, viewers, ahead of the presidential polls on March 24th in Senegal, the West African nation, we are looking at the opposition leaders who were finally freed from the prison, and they had, in fact, appealed to the people that let democracy prevail in the coup-ridden nation as well. Here's a report to understand what's happening with their elections. Thousands took to the street in Senegal as key opposition leader Usmane Sonko was finally released from the prison. ahead of the presidential elections in Senegal Sonko is believed to be the principal challenger to the ruling party of president Macky Sall In his first address after release here is what Sonko had to say Dans cette affaire il y a pas de vainqueur ou de vaincu Nous considérons que nous avons suivi notre destin et nous allons continuer à le suivre Il était dit qu'on passerait par ces étapes On n'en est pas sorti moins grandi qu'avant. Donc, ce n'est que le destin que nous suivons. The upcoming presidential elections are set to decide the fate of the coup-ridden nation on whether it will rise as a democracy in West Africa. Upon being asked of his election prospects, Sonko said that the true victory will be at the end of the first term and not on the election day. doit se faire se fera. Donc c'est pour dire que nous ne considérons pas les choses la seule victoire ce n'est même pas quand on va gagner le 24 inshallah. C'est à la fin de notre premier mandat et on verra quelle appréciation les sénégalais font de ce point. While Sonko himself is barred from the presidential race, his close ally Basiro Faye will contest the elections for his party. Il n'y a pas de souveraineté comme nous le voulons en réclamant ou en nous battant pour un Sénégal souverain, juste et prospère dans une Afrique de progrès s'il n'y a pas de souveraineté monétaire. When asked about his vision for Senegal, Faye hoped for a free and just Senegal. The destiny of Senegal and the results of the presidential elections will be revealed on the election day on March 24th. Agency report Republic TV Slipping into a very short break on the Morning Express on the other side we bring you details of Singapore's foreign minister having met with his Jordanian counterpart to discuss developments on the situation in Gaza And a volcano in southwest Iceland has erupted for the fourth time in less than 100 days creating a vast lava flow outside the town of Grindavik.
in the global employability rankings by Times Higher Education UK. Only the following six institutions from India are ranked amongst the top 230 in the world for having the most employable graduates. IIT Delhi, IISC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIM Ahmedabad, IIT Kharagpur and Amity University. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. We are concerned about the notification of the Citizenship Amendment Act on March 11. We are closely monitoring this act, uh, how this act will be implemented. Respect for religious freedom uh, and equal treatment under the law for all communities are fundamental democratic principles. Welcome back viewers, uh, once again we are looking at Belgorod that had come under fire once again and we are looking at the governor of Belgorod in fact had also making that announcement that the shopping malls and all the public areas will also be closed so that uh, there cannot be more uh, civilian damage in the same. Let's take a look at this report to understand what's happening in Belgorod. Belgorod Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov on Saturday announced the closure of shopping malls and the suspension of schools at the beginning of the next week. This comes amid the escalating tension in the region. I see a large number of questions from the current situation. We have made a decision that the market center in the Belgorod region will not be closed on Wednesday and Wednesday. In terms of the work of the school, понедельник, вторник, выходной. Мы сейчас посмотрим с точки зрения законодательства, каким образом точную формулировку. Но это, я думаю, что это наша история. Просто самое главное, что понедельник, во вторник занятий в школах не будет. Гладков in a video statement reiterated the priority for security. Она достаточно сложная сейчас у нас. И в городе в Белгородском районе, конечно, вопрос безопасности он для нас, для всех с вами главный. Сегодня обязательно постараюсь по итогам дня, по текущей обстановке, дать оперативную информацию. С утра записав утреннее сообщение, ну, враг опять нанес по нам удар, выехал на место. Прошу прощения, сегодня выходил уже без утреннего видео. Всем доброго дня, здоровья и добра. Берегите. Earlier in the day, Ukrainian shelling of Belgorod killed two people, officials said, while Russia claimed to have thwarted a new attempt by saboteurs to cross the border. Agency Report, Republic TV. Time now for some news and brief from across the world. US judge delays Trump hush money trial by 30 days, says new evidence has turned over which needs time for examination. The United States and the G7 allies have issued a strong warning to Iran over its plans to move forward with the providing ballistic missiles to Russia in an ongoing Ukraine war. US says will pile new sanctions.
The United Nations Security Council has extended the mandate of the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan ahead of the mandate's conclusion on March 17th. The resolution was passed unanimously to extend the mission as well. Croatian president announces a surprise bid to run for prime minister. The announcement comes hours after the parliamentary elections are announced in Croatia to be held next month. As the deadline to register for the Venezuelan presidential elections near, leading opposition candidate faces pressure to withdraw from the race. This comes as the opposition looks for a better substitute to fight the incumbent president. Senegal's top opposition leader was released from jail ahead of country's presidential elections scheduled for March 24th. Celebration erupted across the capital as supporters of the jailed leader rejoiced over his release. A day after the US and South Korea conclude military drills, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un watched the military exercises conducted by the paratroopers. Kim's daughter also was seen alongside of him. Pope Francis met with the Seychelles president during a private audience in the Vatican. During the meeting, the pair held talks on the international situation and the socio-political situation in Seychelles. And slipping into a very short break on the Morning Express, bringing you details on the other side of how during a campaign for Senate candidate in Ohio, Donald Trump warned of a bloodbath if he uses, if he in fact loses the 2024 elections. Yeah, we don't have another option. <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks like a, a little bit tradition, not three years in a row. So playing the king of the competition because winning 14 Champions League. But uh, yeah, it's what it is. Hopefully we can arrive in a good moment and still a few weeks uh, before the first game in, in Madrid. And yeah, we'll see. Well, he's not ready. <coughs> He already played in Anfield with some problems, uh, uh, but this is getting better. It's not ready for tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure with the. So we spoke with a manager from Belgium, from Domenico Tedesco, and and he decided, and that's why I'm grateful because he didn't feel good, and can recover for the last part of the season.
if we extrapolate into the future, Formula E or electric racing will be the norm. So the question is how Formula E reinvents itself to become the leading racing series in the world in a, in a situation in which Formula One might need to go electric too. And that's the big question mark. And I believe there is space for both, but there is always the strategy, the management, and how to execute all of the priorities of the company will make a difference if Formula E succeed or not. Formula E is in a unique position. Formula E can become the main racing series of the world if done correctly. Well, yeah, I mean, first of all, he's had a great start, which, is, which has been great for, uh, for him and the teams that we've had our best start as a team since we joined the championship. Uh, I hope to obviously catch up a bit, to be honest. Um, I've had a, an OK start, we've got some good points, but we missed out a few opportunities. Um, but about Nick, yeah, I mean, it's been great working with him. I've known him since, since I was six, so the relationship's been strong for many, many years. I mean, he loves, well, he's always loved granola and yogurt. Um, what else? He, he loves drinking my coffee. And he loves coming up to my place in, in Monaco because I always... Uh... Welcome back, viewers. We have been keeping you ahead on all that's happening with the Israel-Hamas war, which is showing no signs of abating anytime soon. And in the backdrop of that, we are already looking at uh, hundreds of people, in fact, Palestinians who had been displaced because of the entire uh, strikes by the Israeli defense forces are now saying that they are not even getting the basic amenities like food and shelter, even as we are looking at some aid arriving in that particular area where these uh, displaced Palestinians are. Here's more to understand what's happening on the ground. Death, destruction, desolation. Even as the Israel-Hamas war continues to obliterate vast swathes of land, it is the displaced Palestinians bearing the brunt of the relentless bombardment. نحن شايفين أكل ولا شايفين شرب يعني المساعدات شاحة بالمرة بقولوا لنا في مساعدات في الجنوب المساعدات شاحة The United States has joined other countries in airdropping supplies into Gaza and has announced separate plans to construct a pier to get aid in ننظلنا نستنى ننتظر مساعدات هذه مش حل باخرة تيجي طيارة تيجي يعني شفنا طيارات اجت ونزلت دبحوا بعضهم مافيات ينزل اولاد صغار غرقوا في بحر ماتوا عشان مساعدات Israel has been under increasing pressure to allow more aid into Gaza especially in the Palestinians isolated north where hunger is at its worst Some 80% of Gaza's 2.3 million people have been displaced in the war more than half of them cramped into the far south around the town of Rafah. With only a trickle of supplies entering the territory, hunger is rampant. Agency Report, Republic TV. Moving into a very short break here in our viewers, on the other side we bring you details of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit uh, Andhra Pradesh today and will take part in the NDA election meet. Chandra Babu Naidu and Pavan Kalyan to also attend the meeting. In the Global Employability Rankings by Times Higher Education UK, only the following six institutions from India are ranked amongst the top 230 in the world for having the most employable graduates. IIT Delhi, IISC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIM Ahmedabad, IIT Kharagpur and Amity University. 
we are joined by BJP leader Manjinder Singh Sirsa as he met election commissioner Rajiv Kumar today and filed and gave a complaint against Arvind Kejriwal. Sirsa sir, the first question to you that Arvind Kejriwal has been using harsh words against those who were, who were persecuted in their country and had uh, taken shelter in our country and the protests have also geared up in national capital in several places. So that is the reason we met CEC and election commissioners today here in Delhi. We have requested the election commission that this kind of uh, statement by Arvind Kejriwal is spreading a hate among other communities against Sikhs, against Hindus. By saying that agar inko rehne ka mokka Bharat mein nagrita milegi, to ye balatkar kar denge bachiyon ka. By saying this ki agar ye aapke ghar ke saamne ghar banayenge, to aapki bachiyan aasrakshit ho jayenge, apne ghar se nikal nahi payenge. By saying that ki aapke rojgar chhin lenge, by saying this, कि ये लोग पाकिस्तान और अफगानिस्तान से जो आए हैं ये घुसपेटियां हैं इन्होंने गैर कानूनी काम करे हैं हमारे बच्चों और बच्चियों के ऊपर इसका बहुत बड़ा असर हो रहा है हमारी सिख कम्युनिटी जो है अफगानिस्तान से जो आई है पाकिस्तान से आई है वो आज हमें सुबह आकर मिले भी थे दे मेटर्स यस्टरडे ऑल्सो दे रेज दिस इशू एंड फॉर दैट सेक वी हैव रेज रेज दिस इशू बिफोर दी ऑनरेबल चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर एंड इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया सो ही दे अश्योर्ड अस दैट they will take action we have requested them that this all these tweets all these videos on x posted on x and facebook should be immediately withdrawn We are live and breaking. Let's start with the top headlines at the hour. Prime Minister Modi to visit Andhra Pradesh and take part in an NDA election meet. Chandra Babu Naidu and Pawal Kandyan to also attend. Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi extends BRS leader K. Kavita's custody till March 23 in the Delhi Excise Policy case. Vice President Dhankar defends CAA implementation, says the Citizenship Amendment Act aims to give relief to persecuted minorities without infringing on the rights of citizens. Mafia Don Sheikh Shah Jahan's brother arrested by the CBI over the attack on ED officials in early January. NIA charge sheets two individuals in the 2023 Kokanag encounter in which three security personnel were martyred and a Lashkar e Taiba ATRF terrorist was killed. The Marine Commandos of the Navy rescued 17 sailors from MV Royburn and coerced 35 pirates to surrender in an intense 40-hour action on the high seas. Well, big breaking news coming in. While the Election Commission of India has announced the highly anticipated election days, support for the Prime Minister is mounting not just in India, but also abroad. In the UK, the overseas friends of BJP have orchestrated a vibrant car rally in London, demonstrating unwavering backing for Prime Minister Modi and the BJP in the elections. The rally embarked from Kach Lewa Partidar Samaj complex in Northolt and concluded at the Swami Narayan Baps Temple in Wembley. Meanwhile, the UK MP Bob Blackman also said that India and UK friendship strengthened under the BJP rule. Listen in to the UK MP. He's on the route to be the number one economy in the world. And of course, that has been driven by the growth that has taken place in India right now. 
The United Kingdom is still growing. The economy is sluggish, but it's growing, which is the good news. So what we've got to do is make sure that happens, and therefore the re-election of the BJP government is all important to that. So you play a big part in making sure that Narendra Modi is still Prime Minister, and indeed BJP still run the government. Well, another big breaking news at the moment. Trouble seems to be brewing for former SP leader Swami Prasad Maurya. Special additional chief judicial magistrate uh, has directed the Wazir Ganj police to file an FIR against him for allegedly offending and hurting Hindu sentiments. Maurya had made remarks on the Hindu goddess Lakshmi f uh, after which a complaint was filed by Ragini Rastogi. Well, the UP court has ordered an FIR against the ex-SP leader Swami Prasad Maurya. Earlier, the former UP, uh, Samajwadi Party leader had uh, posted on social media and said that while people across all religions were born with two hands, how come the Hindu goddess Lakshmi can be born with four hands? The complaint against Maurya now over the remarks by the former SP leader. Well, moving on to some other top news stories, the Chief Election Commissioner of India announced the poll dates for the Lok Sabha as well as state assemblies. The Lok Sabha elections will happen in seven phases. Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar announced that the Lok Sabha elections will begin from the 19th of April. 21 states will go to polls during the first phase. After the conclusion of the Lok Sabha polls on June 1, the results for the Lok Sabha elections will be revealed on the 4th of June. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar shared that four state assemblies will also go to polls simultaneously. These are Arunachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Sikkim. The Election Commission of India has also announced that it will take strict action against people who indulge in hate speech and use harsh language during the election. The Chief Election Commission also said that women participation in the elections has increased and that the percentage of women voters in 12 states surpassed male voters. Prime Minister Modi began his poll campaign and exuded confidence of a third term. He said that the public is with him and the BJP and the NDA will win 40, 400 plus seats. After the announcement of poll dates, former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister and BJP candidate from Vidisha Shivrat Singh Chauhan said that under Prime Minister Modi's leadership, the BJP will cross 317 mark and the NDA, the 400 mark, he added that the BJP NDA will get a historic majority. Union Minister Smriti Irani said that the BJP will form the government once again under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi and said that the people will vote for the kind of work he has delivered. Congress President Malikarjun Kharge said that the long schedule of the elections will hamper with development work in the country as the agencies will be busy with the polls.
The world's leading entrepreneurial tycoon Gautam Adani opened up on how his childhood influenced his core values on which he built his entire empire. He also hailed India's progress and outlined the next generation vision of the Adani group. Listen in. Talking on his success as one of the world leading entrepreneurial tycoons, Gautam Adani opened up on how his childhood influenced his core values on which he built his empire. Starting with my childhood, of the first 15 years of my life, my upbringing was spread across two places the deserts of Banaskatha and the poles of Ahmedabad. The deserts teach a lot that life in its barren form forces us to adapt in our own ways. The scorching heat and the dusty winds of Banaskatha taught me resilience. And then come the days in the poles of Ahmedabad, it was unique in his own way. The essence of bonding, relationships, the humanity, the feelings of helping one in need came very naturally from experience of my life in this pole. During this formative period, there were two people who influenced me. My mother, who was the pillar of our household and instrumental in keeping our joint family tightly knit. Her commitment to hold our large family together laid the foundation of my family values and beliefs. And the second was my father, who was in the business of a forward trading. In those days, the transaction happened verbally, mostly on the telephone, without any written documents or contracts. At a very young age, I saw that these verbal commitments never failed. These experiences from my childhood played a significant part in shaping my belief and resulted in what today are the core values of the Adani group the courage to withstand, the trust in the people, and the commitment to a larger cause. Hailing India's progress as nation, Gautam Adani presented some deep insights into his reading on India's growth story. If the last three decades since the 1990s have laid the foundation for India to become the world's fifth largest economy. The journey towards 2050 will be even more transformative and a disruptive. While the past three decades were about opening India to the world, the upcoming three decades will see the world opening up to India. Keep in mind keep in mind that following our independence it took us 58, 58 years to reach our first trillion dollars of our GDP. 
12 years to achieve the next and just 5 years for the third trillion. This acceleration is the unstoppable. And I anticipate that within the next decade, India will begin adding a trillion dollars to its GDP every 18 months. And this will setting us on the path to become a 25 to 30 trillion dollar economy by 2050. During this period, I foresee the total market capitalizations of our listed companies in India to dramatically increase and range for 40 to 45 trillion dollars, indicating a tenfold growth from the current $4 trillion. No other nation will be even close to achieving such growth and India will have its own trillion dollar valued company. The trends are already visible and one sign is seen in the number of billion dollar valued companies we now have. Today, India is home to over 500 companies valued at over a billion dollars, ranking us fourth in the world. In 1991, we had none. Gautam Madani also shared his experiences with resilience in the face of adversity and shared his secret of fighting uphill challenges. I started my entrepreneurship journey in my teens. Entrepreneurship is about taking risk and being okay with sometimes getting lost, sometimes falling. But every time I was lost, every time I fell, I was still able to find my way back. I was still able to get up. I never feared falling. Therefore, I would like to leave you with the five principles and I hope this will mean something for all of you. Number one, all success will come with its challenges and its challengers. The greater your success, bigger will you be as a target and the true measure of your success will not be in your achievements but in your ability to rise through the adversities that will come with your achievements. Every fall comes with his pain but every rise comes with his gain. This gain is called resilience. And in the game of resilience, your mind will be both the battleground and the weapon. Let me elaborate with the recent example of the sorting that Adani group had to go through. As most of you will be aware, last year, the 24th January, we were subject to a massive attack by a US short seller. The objective was not just to destabilize us, but also to politically defame India's governance practices. Despite the efforts to shake our foundations, 
we stood firm not just safeguarding our reputations but also ensuring we remained focused on our operations while there were several learnings this episode also gave us a confidence in our own resilience our recovery highlights the essence of a bouncing back stronger symbolizing the spirit of a rising after every fall bureau report republic tv Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been issued fresh summons by the Enforcement Directorate. The ED has asked the Chief Minister to appear on Thursday. Apparently, a fresh case has been opened against the Delhi Chief Minister. Meanwhile, the Aam Aadmi Party is expected to brief the media at 10 a.m. this morning. The Delhi Chief Minister remember yesterday had some relief from the court and was granted bail for skipping uh, the court summons and now the ED has opened a fresh case against Kejriwal as per reports and he has been asked to appear on Thursday Well we move on to a quick a uh, break we will be tracking this story but coming up next Prime Minister Modi to visit Andhra Pradesh today and take part in an NDA meet Chandra Babu Naidu and Pawan Kalyan to also attend Tamil Nadu mein बीजेपी का प्रदर्शन इस बार डीएम के और कांग्रेस के इंडी एलायस का सारा घमन तोड़ करके रख देगा एक तरफ बीजेपी की कल्याणकारी स्कीम होती है दूसरी तरफ इनके करोड़ों के स्कैम होते हैं ये लोग तमिल संस्कृति को नष्ट करना चाहते हैं ये लोग महिलाओं के नाम पर राजनीति करने की कोशिश करते हैं साथियों डीएम के और कांग्रेस का इंडी अलायंस कभी भी तमिलनाडु को विकसित नहीं बना सकता इन लोगों की हिस्ट्री घोटालों की है इन लोगों की राजनीति का आधार लोगों को लूटने के लिए सत्ता में आना है एक तरफ बीजेपी की कल्याणकारी स्कीम होती है दूसरी तरफ इनके करोड़ों के स्कैम होते हैं हमने ऑप्टिकल फाइबर और 5G दिया हमारे नाम पर डिजिटल इंडिया स्कीम है इंडी अलायस के नाम पर लाखों करोड़ रुपए का 2G का स्कैम है और डीएम के उस लूट की सबसे बड़ी हिस्सेदार थी बीजेपी ने बड़ी संख्या में एयरपोर्ट बनाए हमारे नाम पर उड़ान स्कीम है इंडी एलायंस के नाम देश की सुरक्षा के साथ खिलवाड़ करने वाले हेलीकॉप्टर स्कैम है 
हमारी खेलो इंडिया और टॉप स्कीम से देश ने खेलों में ऊंचा मुकाम हासिल किया लेकिन उनके नाम पर सी डब्ल्यू जी स्कैम का दाग है हमने खनिज सेक्टर में रिफॉर्म को लागू किया इंडी अलायंस के नाम पर कॉस कैम की कालिख लगी है ये लिस्ट बहुत लंबी है और यही यही इंडी अलायंस की सच्चाई है तमिलनाडु में बीजेपी का प्रदर्शन इस बार डीएम के और कांग्रेस के इंडी अलायंस का सारा घमन तोड़ करके रख देगा ये लोग अब गाली गलौज पर उतर आए हैं तमिलनाडु की पहचान को बदनाम कर रहे हैं आप सोच